I already talked for an hour this morning because we did the MMA Love podcast with the European Brethren in Switzerland, but now we're back to talk more. And it's a very special day because, not just because we have 14 more chrome packs to rip, but because the chicken man has made time on his Sunday to join us. Dude, thank you. How you doing? I'm great, and, and thank you for uh, letting me join. I love watching these videos, and that's actually how I, uh, how how we connected because I was getting in the older tops, and I was um, <laughs> I Google you know Googled on YouTube uh, a certain product, and a couple of your videos came up, and I started watching them, and then we connected on uh, Instagram, and have have <laughs> stayed in touch ever since. Did it Did it occur to you that? When you saw me ripping like two hobby boxes of UFC Bloodlines, that I may have a problem. Uh, you know, I enjoyed watching it because it wasn't just what's the most valuable card can I find, right? Like that. That's you, you have a nice collector's um, approach to it. I got to keep. Then what was? I got to keep these boxes kicking around just so I remind myself what I paid for five cards. <laughs> Uh, there is that the what year is that that's 2012 yeah so oh, that's, that's man. a couple grand yeah there. yeah they're they're pricey man we got a good deal on the chrome though i saw you rip a whole case of this um the search for the o'malley one of one super fractor first auto continues but uh there's at, a lot left on this checklist i at, looked at the pop report and it looks like there might be some now granted i don't know what's raw out there right like we, right. unless it, we've seen it post that i know the mcgregor super fractor is raw but it has been hit right um but it looks like there's you know maybe a couple red connors a couple red o'malley you know base and auto alive like there there's some stuff still out there some some more i think there's a lot more i think so I was talking to Joe and, and I said, I think because the checklist is so good, just who's on it, you can like every box, you can get some really good stuff. I don't think you're going to make your 800 or your 500 or your $1,000 back if you buy a box. You could, but like you could still hit some really nice looking cards because the cards just look really good. Like that's oh, great. That's it's my favorite set. It, it, is it? It's like the best of 20. It, it reminds me of like a, almost like a select, but a little more professional. Like it's got good color. It's got great photo art and it's not too like dry and the boxes are fun to open. Mm -hmm. um, like 2017 Chrome. I don't feel like the, the numbered cards, like the, the color shows up enough on the card. It can be hard to see. And then 2019, I think is the, gr the best year for the colored cards because it's that like it's almost like a black and white all the the cards are black and white and it has this you know border around it so when the colors on there you know they pop and you can tell but 2018 i think is the nice combination of the two i really like where's where's my is this 2017 or 2019 this is 2019 i really like the diamonds in 2019 that have the the diamond edge, yeah. I I really like those. But and when that's like a, a green or a blue or a red, I mean, you, you know, it's just a it's an incredible border. Yeah. Um, and they just pop. But the yeah, the, it that that set can be a little stale because it's there's just some good photos and then the Habib photo punching Connor is fantastic. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> And the Gaethje backflip's pretty great, too. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's good. I mean, and I'm not even really, like... I'm not even super huge fans of any of them, but to have those those iconic photos, for sure. And um, you said it last time. We've seen enough raised hands in photos. We've seen right, enough we raised it. hands. What we, we, <laughs> need, we, need, we need spinning back fists. Yes. We need punching air in front of you is also good. Um... Uh, Joe and I were making fun of the, uh, I think the, the, the blades photo in this set, but, um, here's the logo. 
look for that logo in all the places on social media and follow all of them. And well, it's just, it's just Instagram. <laughs> eBay, whatnot, all the places. Uh, was it, is that social media? I would call it social media because it is certainly okay. more social than eBay listings. Um, that is true. And behind the logo are all the things I have to be uh, grateful to chicken for. The John Jones Auto, the Ariani Auto, the Dan Henderson On Card Auto from 2009 Round 2, the Moicano Auto, and there are so many more hits from the boxes I bought from you. It's, well, we got it's lucky. incredible, dude. I got, I, I got it. I'm insanely lucky. It's not even funny. Mr. Card Art took care of us. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So we've got four. You said we've got two or three more numbered cards in these 14 packs, and I'm here. Yeah, for and it. I think one more numbered insert too. I I'm, think. Really? Ooh. It's usually two to three numbered inserts. There's a wave. There it is. There's a wave right there. There's a knockout wave. It looks like. On the back of it, we've got a Trevin Giles, and then the Fire Hydrant, Alir Latifi, the Dragon Paul Felder. <laughs> we were just talking about him on the podcast. Cody Garbs, he's going to fight next week. Yeah, he was that. That match was put together by the kid that won the like matchmaker contest. Wait, really? Yeah, he um, Dana loved you know whatever. I don't know the full story on the contest, but the kid won it, and Dana had him out you know, at the, the apex or the Institute or wherever. And, um, Cody said something to him like, well, I want to fight and such and such. And this kid pitched one and they loved it and they booked it. Oh, that's amazing. Cody. We, we said Cody's never looked as good as when he knocked out Dom Cruz, but we'll still, I'll still watch him fight next week's card is insanely good. I'm excited for that one. I am too. I'm very excited for Leon versus Colby, but everything else on it too. We got we got Cyborg, DC, yeah, action shots. That's what I'm talking about. Francis waiting to commit some action, and a Chad Laprise uh, refractor. All right. Have you had any Sean or Gaethje or Bilal rookies yet? I think I pulled a Bilal base card. Okay. I think I pulled a Bilal base card, and that's it. The rest, the rest is like, like for me, this set is all about Max and Joanna. Oh, there he is. Hey. Boom. Base card. Are these base cards worth a few bucks still? If they grade a ten, I think they go for like sixty to a hundred bucks. I'd have to look again, Good but shit. they. It's worth like the the nineteen dollars sub to PSA. All right, I might I might do the fourteen dollar or the twelve dollar sub to tag, but because I'm a tag bot, but you know I like the tag slabs too, dude. They're nice. They're nice. They just rolled out. They just rolled out this thing where instead of the uh, the three digit. In the middle right there, 981. You don't get that anymore. They've got a lower tier that just gives you the normal 1 through 10 or 0.5s or whatever, the standard grading scale for like 12 bucks. Might be good for this card. We'll see. There's your Sean O'Malley rookie, though. Put that aside. He's in there. He's in there. Chan Sung Jung, refractor. Is there another refractor behind it? No, it was in the second position instead of the third. Nope. Interesting. Okay. That's a good card. That Usually that's when you know you have an auto when the number or the refractor second. Oh, by the way, I did uh, I did make a I did have a little email exchange with Tops. And they uh, they will not accept this. So I'm not sure what to do with it. They were like, nah, we don't have them anymore. We gave them all away. I'm like, oh. And they don't even replace them? Doesn't, like with... doesn't sound like they're very interested in that. Jeez. So out of luck on the redemptions for the, the Anthony Pettis Museum Auto and the Ariani Chrome Auto. But that's okay. We got the uh, Gedalia and that that. <laughs> That auto is ridiculous. I didn't have one of those yet. 
All right, Ketlin Vieira, rookie. A notable knockout. Silva versus Belfort, the front kick from hell. Nice. I like those cards. That's a beautiful card. I didn't have any of these yet. That's good. There's our Gaethje rookie. Punching, we go. punching Kevin Lee, maybe. Might be Kevin Lee. Might might be Mikey Johnson. I think that's Mikey Johnson. Yeah. And uh, Forrest Griffin. I want to get I want to get that numbered with you. I was gonna just rip till I get that numbered card. Wasn't gonna do all fourteen packs, but we might. Whatever you want to do, I, I will not. Uh, what? Play. No, dude. Dude, the chicken luck. I'm just gonna like. It. I'm gonna walk around my house crying and yelling. I don't even know who it is. Well, I don't even know who it. Did you see what it is? No, I just saw the printing plate. I'm, I'm excited. Okay, you it's saw the plate. Though. You That's saw the plate. It, it's, it's cold. Horizontal. It's cold to the touch. It's a Vulcan Ostomir. We got the Max Holloway base card. I might have an almost full base set after this box. That would be see dope. if we see an Afro. Uh oh! <laughs> Sick. Is that a? It's a Lear. Lear. Oh my god! It's so good. It's so good. Holy shit! These, I, dude, we have to get them out of these boxes, chicken. I, I love it. You, you get the best. Oh my god! Boxes. Oh my god! I'm shaking. I love this so much. The this dude is just a tank, just a tank. Oh, cyan printing plate, one of one of Alir Latifi. Well, there's our numbered card. That's the. We that's the third, or that's the fourth one of one I've ever pulled. That's fantastic. That is amazing. Get up there with Cody. That is amazing. I got the. I pulled a Tito. I pulled a Tito Matt Relic out of a Bloodlines 2012. I pulled a Chev. Sorry, that's the fifth. I pulled a Chev White Sparkle, the first one of one I ever pulled, which got me hooked on the gambling of ripping packs. Chev White Sparkle, 2021 Prism. I pulled the Sean. Right. Pulled Sean Strickland, Black Laser, one of one first auto. Rookie, rated rookie from Donruss. And I pulled the uh, Tisha Torres, uh, I think, last year's Optic White Sparkle auto. And you got a good run that. on the one of ones. That's pretty good for just some dork opening packs. That's good. Period. One hundred and one. It's hard to to hit big cards. Well, I mean, you know, you got guys doing breaks like you. You've hit. You, you must have hit two dozen by now, right? Like, how many one of ones of do you think I've pulled out of all the products I've opened? Yeah, like because you've been at it for like two years now, three years. I bet forty plus, maybe. That's but wow, I, mean, I mean that's a lot of cases without one in it. Oh, it's there's a massive amount of times that cases are just blah, and that, not just one of one, just in general. All right, one more. Ooh, Doctor Zabit. Doctor Zabit. Oh, we got the green. Okay, awesome. This is an insane box officially. Doctor Zabit, Thomas Almeida. If it's Connor, that's oh, that fuck yeah, Paige Van Zant, that's awesome. Uh, that's pretty good. I'm nice. not gonna, I'm not gonna complain about about the dude going to the dark place. What's a green out of? Ninety nine. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I gotta see. I don't know if um. I think these cards aren't too thick for tag slabs. They're a little thicker. But some of these, I so so I. This is awesome. This is this is incredible. Cody Garbrandt and Dominic Cruz on the stand together, and an Alir Latifi one of one. 
That's insane. So, the first ones I ripped, because I couldn't wait, and I pulled that 1983 Wave. And I got I got to look in at prices. They're all around, th if you want to buy them new, they're all around 30 to 50 Or you want to buy singles, except when they're on auction. So I got a TJ Dillashaw for 99 cents. I got a Yoel Romero for two bucks. Yep. And then last night on DC Sports, I got a PSA 9 Francis Ngannou for less than 20. Auctions? Auctions. Are a terrible way to sell your UFC cards, but a great way to buy them. And if you need, and if you need to sell your UFC cards, and you have two weeks or so, or th or four weeks to spare, I would I would let DC Sports do it for me, because okay, because it because the price that they're that they want to they want to bill you is like. Do I have one of their cards in here? I think I do. Yeah. I think it's on here. And it doesn't have the it doesn't have it on here like the percentage, but it's not that much worse than eBay. Like eBay is going to take 13 and a half percent minimum from me. They're going to take about the same. Maybe a little more. And it's like if you're just going to auction them anyway, I would just do that. But if you're going to list them on eBay like I do, I like to keep all my stuff so I can just list it all. Like I already listed all my, all my Chrome. I do the same. I'd rather list and make a friendly deal with someone that wants it than just put it up for auction and watch it go for 20% of what it could get. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if I have to sit on John Jones' first auto forever because no one wants to pay 2100 or whatever that's fine whatever because the the yeah. the karmic powers of having this autograph in your possession like you're either in for some really bad luck or some really good luck <laughs> and that's the bones auto you know yeah. those those are rare uh, yeah. we, don't, we don't still don't know if it's him or not but uh, <laughs> and that makes it half the fun though i think I know, dude. you know like that's it's a neat card, and it's one of those, put your price on it, and if someone doesn't want to pay it, then you got an awesome card sitting in your collection until somebody does. Like, that's... Yeah, that's exactly. The part of the card that. Exactly. All right, come here, Dom. Stop falling all over the place. Just incredible, man. What a, what a set. So we'll have to... Uh... God, we got to get more. How do we get more? You don't have a line on a bunch more cases, do you? The cases are tough. Single boxes. So what I've learned from some of the, the old old heads in the tops game, you know, buying single boxes of tops is not risky like it is with the newer product from how they packaged them and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. You know, you have just as good of a chance of getting a good hit out of it as you do from, from a sealed case. Um I think, I think so, too. I think a lot of times that's where – so if you're buying a case, I assume you're going after a handful of cards to justify the case price. Right. Uh, if you just want to open something fun, you know, I would find that sealed box that you can probably get for four, five, six hundred bucks by just being patient. Um, yep. Instead of paying a thousand dollars a box, you know, to get a whole case. There's yeah, there's a number of single boxes on eBay right now for about eight hundred to a thousand. This one that I got, I got as an auction. And I I don't think it should be more than if if you want to have a chance at getting value like the box value back, I wouldn't pay more than four hundred bucks. And yeah. even that's a stretch, and right? I, like that and that's that's you gotta hit a, a, a solid O'Malley to have a chance at it and it's got a great well. Yep. And, um, and I put it and I and I put it there, but I went what, like twenty five percent higher or so because well, I guess because I wanna I wanna op I wanted to open it for the channel, so I'll lose money on it, whatever. Because it's fun, it's making content, but also because it's like, you know. It's not gambling if you're not losing money. So there's like the new Panini product. I look at 
the optic boxes with that are supposed to have one auto but have two i look at the h2 boxes from select and i'm i look at like the undercard prism boxes and i'm like i wouldn't pay more than 35 to 45 bucks for any of that and it's because there's there's just I'll get four cards that are worth a buck on auction. But stuff Optic stuff like this tough. Yeah. Yeah, optics tough. And it, I mean it's and and you can kind of see it when you look at DC Sports when they're when they're auctioning 200 optic cards and they all sell for 1 to 3 dollars. You know, you, it's there isn't a lot there to make it worthwhile cuz you it's not like this where you're pulling like even a 99 is still a heater. Even though it's only worth a couple bucks at auction, I'm not auctioning it. It's too fun. 20 of 99 knockout knockout insert. It makes me excited to see what what we may get in 2024 with tops getting the license. We're getting iMac. Dude, I saw that. I saw your post on Instagram just now. The iMac books. I might have to get me some of that. I hope it comes out. I'd be thrilled if it was like three hundred dollars a box or less. Yeah, that was three hundred is where I was at on twenty twenty one before the redemptions ran out, and now the redemptions are out are are ex- all expired. And that twenty twenty one iMac was like fifty percent redemptions. It was ridiculous. So and sticker autos and yeah, I, yeah, I, yep. I, I'm not a twenty twenty two. I thought was a lot of fun. I like the look of it. I thought the cards looked great. When it first came out, I think the price was like three twenty five or maybe three fifty. Yep. Which isn't cheap, but for what for what you could get, it was okay. Yeah. Um, and I've and never had an opportunity. Box. Yeah. I've never had an opportunity to rip that. And I, I would love to rip a tin of iMac. Um, so we'll see. I would be into it. 250 is a no-brainer. If it's 300, then I'll think about it and probably buy one for myself for Christmas, but this was already kind of my Christmas present, so we'll see. It may release affordable on Panini's website, and that, you know, it might be 250, 275 on their website on release day, and that's where I'd probably snag it. Yeah. 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 All right, you convince me, I'll get a box. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Mr. Chicken? No, this was. I love watching these videos. I, I'm excited to, to be a part of one, so thank God. you. Freaking Alir one of one, man. I'm just going to go, like, post Alir on the horse on the beach everywhere on every social media. In- so they, incredible. Um, Cardfather's friend said that usually in a, a case of 2018 Chrome, you either get a printing plate or a super fractor. So you're saying I got the case hit out of the single box? I would, well, and and that was the diamond hot box. So you had a heck of a box. Well, I didn't have a, any. Auto. I didn't. I had the. Um, I didn't have any. Yeah, I had an extra auto. I had yeah, the octo the fractor. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So there's a diamond hot box. There's a box that has the octo fractor. I bet there's. I bet there's more than one of one of one one of one per case because. The the one thing about this, like people bitch about Panini, you know, they released four one of ones for every card and select. Well, yeah, but I mean, Tops had like five printing plates and a one of one super fractor for every card in this set, and so it's not like that's unheard of, you know. Now, are the that's are the true. plates actually are the plates worth as much as Panini's one of ones? Well, I guess it depends on who and when, right? That was the one thing somebody hit me up and wanted some like older izzy cards and i was like yeah that's the move don't buy it right when it comes out let the price settle a little bit get your singles oh yeah so so yeah you know 40 dollar printing plate of alir latifi probably but still it's a printing plate that i pulled that's pretty dope all right i think that was a fun box and you still have what I got ten pack. I got eight more packs to go. Yeah. So I'm uh, I'm I'm really dragging it out here, trying to trying to milk the content for all it's worth. Well, I I like that because in you know over a month I get to see open a box, and every Sunday evening or Monday morning I have you know a nice 
15 minute video to watch either uh, before I go to bed or on my way to work on Monday morning. So it's always nice. And uh, I listen to it. Well, there I you don't go. watch it on driving. I listen. Oh, okay, good. Well, that's good. Be safe. Be safe while you're on your drives to work. These people are insane. Get your dash cam out. Don't forget to turn it on. I was a little bummed yesterday because my TJ Dillashaw 1983 wave that I got uh, got uh, stolen by the tweakers. So I I had to I have to buy a new one now and I have to I had to rip so I ripped one of those blaster boxes yesterday so it's kind of a weird week I've I've done like three videos this week usually I do like one every two weeks but hopefully we stay safe Chicken Man thank you so much thanks for being my buddy thanks for selling me boxes any time any time and thanks for having me today. Chicken, don't forget what Genki Sudo says. And what is that? We are all one. We are all one. I'll talk to you later, okay? Thanks, Luke. Bye. Bye.